question is, is how how we as, as journalists and as you know us lowly producers and the and photo poll, how we can kind of be vigilant and how we can make sure we're selling our stories correctly, you know, to our producers and to our editors because because I, I kind of agree with you. I mean not quite you know demons and, and devils, but I, I I see where you're coming from because I, I see it. And it's a hard it is a hard sell sometimes when you go and, and I just see the stories in the process and say, look, this is baseless. It's implying, you know, causality when there's no correlation and a lot of people don't understand that and you know, okay, the story's done, we need to put something on the air, what do we do? Put it on the air. And you know, my thoughts are my path. So I mean is there does anybody have any thoughts on that? Like how we can do a better job? I think you just keep on doing it in the hope that sometimes it'll stick. I don't think there's anything else you can do that. <laughs> um, I, I think my, my thing might have been a little bit similar Yeah, you know, um, maybe break, breaking the sort of conviction or at least softening it where if the public starts hearing different information, they might um, they might not uh, end up um, thinking so strongly about it, that, such that the, the public might at least have this slightly higher level um, of uh, yeah, the knowledge of the uncertainty of science and um, be able to uh, may, maybe I, I have a question. <laughs> um, um, okay, for instance, there, there might not be so much stake um, about uh, changing. The, the consequences of breaking that there wouldn't be reputations broken and made so easily uh, through one thing or another, I guess. Uh, so that there, there wouldn't be maybe even the same stigma about uh, one side that's talking about another. Thank you. Um, I would encourage you to keep talking. We've a lot of questions unanswered, but thank you very much. Thank you.